we've had these three acting as if the race is between the four of us. The fifth guy, who doesn't have the guts to show up and stand here, he's the one who, as you just put it, is way ahead in the polls. And yet, I've got these three guys who are all seemingly to compete um, with, you know, Voldemort. He who shall not be named. They don't want to talk about it. The, the fact is that when you go and you say the truth about somebody who is a dictator, a bully, who has taken shots at everybody, whether they've given him great service or not over time, who dares to disagree with him, then I understand why the Thieves Three are timid to say anything about it. Maybe it's because they have future aspirations. Maybe those future aspirations are now, or maybe they're four years from now. But the fact of the matter is, the truth needs to be told. And for us to go 17 minutes without discussing the guy who has all those gaudy numbers you talked about is ridiculous. I'm in this race because the truth needs to be spoken. He is unfit. This is a guy who just said this past week that he wants to use the Department of Justice to go after his enemies when he gets in there. I mean, the fact of the matter is, he is unfit to be president, and there is no bigger issue in this race, Megan, than Donald Trump, and those numbers prove it. Thank Governor you. Christie. I mean, look, he's made it very clear. There's no mystery to what he wants to do. He started off his campaign by saying, I am your retribution. Eight years ago, he said, I am your voice. This is an angry, bitter man who now wants to be back as president because he wants to exact retribution on anyone who has disagreed with him, anyone who has tried to hold him to account for his own conduct. And every one of these policies that he's talking about are about pursuing a plan of retribution. And yet, at the first debate, my three colleagues on this stage, when asked, if he would be convicted of federal felonies, would they still support him, raise their hand, look into the camera, and let everybody know that they would still support him even if convicted of federal felonies. Federal felonies, by the way. Federal felonies which involve our election process, federal felonies which involve the most sensitive of our governmental secrets, federal felonies where he instructed others to commit crimes, folks who are now agreeing to go to jail because of what they did in his name. So do I think he was kidding when he said he was a dictator? All you have to do is look at the history. And that's why failing to speak out against him, making excuses for him, pretending that somehow he's a victim, empowers him. You wanna know why those poll numbers are where they are? Because folks like these three guys on the stage make it seem like his conduct is acceptable. Let me make it clear. His conduct is unacceptable. He's unfit. And be careful of what you're going to get. If you ever got another Donald Trump term, he's letting you know, I am your retribution. Thank he will you. only be, Elizabeth, he will only be his own retribution. He doesn't care for the American people. It's Donald Trump first. Thank you, Governor. <laughs> is he fit or is he? And this is the problem with my three colleagues. They're afraid to offend. And See, let I me wanna, tell you I wanna, something. I wanna, I wanna if, you're afraid, on, if you're afraid to offend Donald Trump, then what are you going to do when you sit across from President Xi, you sit across from the Ayatollah, you sit across from Putin? You have to be willing to offend with the truth. Okay. And answer the question. Fit or unfit? Fit or unfit? I want you all to kind of picture in your minds election day. You'll all be heading to the polls to vote. And that's something that Donald Trump will not be able to do because he will be convicted of felonies before then and his right to vote will be taken away. You know, you, look, here's the bottom line. You can boo about it all you like and continue to deny reality. But if we deny reality as a party, we're going to have four more years of Joe Biden. When I, my colleagues here raised their hands and said they would support him even if he was a convicted felon, the bigger problem with it is they were confirming the lies he's told to the American people. If you're too timid to take on Trump, believe me, others will, get, will see that timidity. Xi, Putin and the Ayatollah, the border crossers on the southern border, and the criminals in our streets. They'll sense that timidity and they'll take advantage of that failure of leadership. We need to get back to an old American idea that every person is responsible for their own conduct, even a president. I'll be the kind of president who has the humility that knows that you work for the people. 
It's not the other way around. I will earn your trust. I want to earn your vote. Thank you, Governor.